do this. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my food for thought project plan that I'm doing with the Fantastic Ladies. This was created by Jessica and Amanda. They are unfortunately not doing this project even though they started this or created it at least. This is all about food themed products. I could not not do this because I'm a foodie, I love food and I really wanted to do this and I am actually not regretting it one bit that I am doing this. My progress isn't amazing. I chose six products for this and three of them are beauty items and three of them are makeup. I tried to find more beauty items but it just wasn't an option. Other than that I was going to choose aloe vera and salt for some of the food. Um, so. This is what I am going for and two of them are, one of them are stretch. Let me start out with the beauty items and the first one is my W7 Daily Crush Lip Scrub in Juicy Blast Berry. It is looking like this and it has this beautiful packaging. It's really really nice. It's not the best lip scrub on the market but it is what it is. So you can see I have a dent in there. I have used this maybe a handful of times, not a lot. But I will compare it to last update's picture here, so you can see where I was and where I am. I'm, I'm checking away. My goal is to depend on this, and I do think I can do it. Just need to take a little bit more time. <laughs> oh, I didn't mark this. This is my The Body Shop The Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. Yeah. This was a stretch, because chamomile is actually a tea flavor, it's a flower, but tea is food, okay? <laughs> so this is where I was at the pink line and now I am, yeah, I'm just below this part right here, as you may can see. I'm chugging away, I'm using it, I am panning or trying to use up some makeup wipes, so I am not using that every single day that I wear makeup, um, because I only use it when I wear makeup, which is six days a week, to be honest. And uh, this week it was seven. <laughs> so, I'm using it, and here and there I use the cleansing wipes, uh, makeup wipes, whatever you want to call it, then I don't use that one. So I'm, I'm trying to use both. It's working, it's going away, and I think when I am done with the cleansing wipes, stuff uh, then this will go faster but i'm not in a rush to use it up because i love it so much i do have a backup so yeah which i got in a gift i love that stuff it is so good the next beauty item i have is my matas uh, pomegranate hand cream and this is in danish so i'm really trying my hardest not to say it in danish but Anade Blade is pomegranate and I started at the pink line and now I'm down to there. I have this at my work desk and I actually thought I had made less progress so I'm actually really surprised about this. And it is exciting for me because I'm really not very good at going through hand cream so this is exciting. Can I finish it? I don't know. I will try my best. But yeah, it is at my work desk so I see it every day, uh, at the weekdays at least and um, I'm using it, I'm happy. I don't use it multiple times a day, but I do use it. And that's what matters. The makeup part, let's do it. I have a primer. It is the Revolution Star Primer Water Gel Primer with Anise Extract. So, this the Anise thing is kind of a food theme, a spice or something. But this smells like peppermint and it has a cooling effect on the skin which is really nice. But I am not go I'm not using this every single time I wear makeup because then my skin breaks out. It breaks out even though I don't use this but it gets worse with the breakouts if I use this every single day. So I use it every other day, every two days, you know the drill. So I moved from the pink line and down to there. I don't know if I can finish it. I will do my best but yeah I really want this gone. And I can only do it at this speed, otherwise I will have breakouts all over my face. And my skin is really really good at the moment because I'm not that stressed. Um, yeah, 
I, I, right now I break out because of the hormones and my period, but yeah, I'm doing my best not to break out from this at least. The next item is from my Too Faced chocolate bar and this is the chocolate part and it smells like chocolate and I chose the Franken shadow that I have from Hazelnut, Crumbly and Hot Chocolate. So this is the one right here. I am focusing my brush right here, kind of, right here and right here. It really depends. I've used it a little bit over here, but I would really like to finish this, but I don't think I can. There's a lot of shadow in here. It's like one and a half shadow, so I, I don't think I can, but I really want to at least finish up these corners here. That would be amazing. So there's half left of it by the finale. I think I can do that, but it it takes a lot of effort and I am using it a lot at the moment. I have it in my inner part of my eyelid right here. It's really cool toned, so it doesn't really match up with the orange that I am burning at the moment in my Morphe palette, but I'm doing my best here and that is all I can do, really. Let's see if, if I can do the comparison as well. The pen has expanded, I can see that, but not a lot. I'm trying to wear down this part. So that is maybe also why I haven't made the most progress visible, but I'm, I'm using it. I promise you that. The last item, the last item I have is my Essence Sun Club Matte. Let's try that again. Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. I have not used this. I know mm. it's a big bronzer. It smells like coconut, so that is where the food comes in. And I would really like to hit side pan up here in the top. Um, in like a week or so, not even, a few days, I will have a finale for the Graveyard Project Pen and that means I am done working on my Hula bronzer and then I can dedicate my time to this one. And this is a perfect bronzer for, for fall and winter because it's so light and I am pale as a ghost, so that works out perfectly. I'm going to use this more from now on, but I have been really focusing on my Hula bronzer because I really wanted to have more progress on that one. For the finale so that is why i am with this bronzer it's not it's not really exciting but i will do some comparison for that as well if there's any progress i don't think there are but if there are i'm amazed because i have maybe used it once maybe twice not more than that at, no <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below. If you are new here, I would love for you to hang out on my channel. I do a lot of pretty pants, as you may can tell. Empties, pillow bingos. What do I more? Yeah. Shop my stash. I do that with Paula. I just do I just did black. I have a lot of black eyeshadows. I have a lot of eyeshadows in general. But yeah. I hope you guys are going to stick around. It would mean the world to me to for you to be a part of this small family that I'm growing here on YouTube. I'm really excited about it. It's growing all the time and I'm just grateful. I really am. I don't feel like I am talking to more than a thousand people. 1,200 something people. It's, 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 it's mind blowing. <laughs> it's mind blowing. If I was in front of 1,000 people, I would not be able to talk so this is quite amazing i really hope you enjoyed this video and this series and until my next video please take care